So they chose to buggy the concrete rather than use a long boom. Um, I mean, as you're going to see, these guys know what they're doing. I certainly wasn't going to argue with them about that. Here they're using, uh, they're starting at the rear entrance of the barn, and yeah, you can see that sheds a whole lot in the way, um, but um, actually as I'm recording this video, the people are here right now to start taking it apart. Get it out of here, because it's really cramping my style in using the rear entrance of the barn. What an artist. What a beautiful uh, finish he put on. You're going to see he's going to put a broom finish on. Who's got the keys to the Jeep? So they're uh, screening here, and as you can see, they're going to be coming up onto the drain, and they put an absolutely perfect pitch on the drain. Uh, it's going to work great. So this is truck number two. And you see here they're discussing uh, the amount of moisture in the concrete. Um, it was great concrete, they were very happy with it. So here's, uh, here you're seeing something you don't see every day. This is where they are concreting the ceiling. Honestly, I don't know how I did this. We elected to go with uh, 45 100 PSI with fiber and um, doing an awful lot of research on it. And I, I believe we, we made the right choice and this is going to hold up uh, probably long after I'm done. Well, look what we have. These guys did a phenomenal job. I have been so blessed to find the contractors that I have. Now it's still partially, partially wet, so you're seeing still a lot of the trowel marks. But this was all hand troweled instead of um, machine troweled. Level as can be, perfect slope to the drain, and then the brush finish on both the front and the back ramps. So, the rest of this mess is on me. And I think I'll probably do a separate video on it. I'm going to, over here, is gonna remain stone. We've got to take it uh, along the edge and get everything out of here. That has my um, generator in it. Generator's gonna go in the garage. Um, 
we'll neaten all this up. We'll build a little stone ramp here coming off of the, the uh, barn ramp. And then all this and all this is going to be cleaned up. I've got, uh, I'm going to start with 10 yards of topsoil next week. And um, it's getting kind of late, but I'm going to try to get it graded and down. This is just rough graded. You can see the barn drain coming out the side of the barn there. So uh, stay tuned.